Indian S-400 units have set up several dispersal sites in their respective area of deployment, and they have practiced quick movements of their radar systems and transporter erector launcher in case of an attack. The Maldivian president has called for removal of all Indian military personnel from the island nation by 15th March. The Indian Navy will deploy its Drishti 10 UAV in Port Bandar to keep an eye on the maritime boundary with Pakistan as well as the high seas, while the army will deploy the Drishti 10 at a forward base in the Punjab sector. India is building a 130 kN engine test facility in Bengaluru that will be used for ground testing and analysis of engine that will be co-developed with a foreign partner for AMCA Mark II program. Titagar Rail Systems has launched a 25-ton bollard pull tug for the Indian Navy that will facilitate assistance to warships and submarines. The DRDO chief visited engine factory of Adi, where he witnessed the first run of indigenously repaired engine of a June tank. The Border Security Force is procuring 125 indigenous 7.62 by 39 mm tar rifle. The CEO of General Electric has expressed the company's readiness to design and build a clean slate engine specifically for India's AMCA Mark II fighter jets. India has already selected F-414 engines for 40 AMCA Mark I fighter jets, that will be manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics with 80% transfer of technology, and General Electric envisions a more potent engine for the AMCA Mark II variant. As per latest reports, the deal for manufacturing the F-414 engines at Hindustan Aeronautics will be finalized by the end of 2024, and General Electric aims to leverage their expertise in integrating the F-414 on the AMCA Mark I platform, to refine the design of the new powerful engine for the AMCA Mark II. Bharat Dynamics Limited has officially flagged off the first batch of production version of Astra Mark I air-to-air -air missiles to the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force will conduct proof firing and formal induction of the Astra Mark I very soon, marking its operational debut. Bharat Dynamics Limited is also pursuing export opportunities for the Astra Mark I, as many countries like Algeria and Greece that operate the Russian Su-30 have shown interest in the Astra. During the upcoming visit of French President Emmanuel Macron to New Delhi, India and France will announce a military-industrial roadmap focused on Indian requirements for the next 25 years, under which France will support India in the manufacture of nuclear and non-nuclear military platforms from design to certification, that includes Barracuda-class nuclear attack submarines in India, heavier aircraft engines and fighter jets as well as technology transfer for locally manufacturing critical missile systems and ammunition. Bharat Forge has started development of a 155 mm ammunition, that is capable of hitting targets at 100 km. It will use ramjet propulsion, and the company will also explore new long-range artillery shell designs, and these designs will optimize the shape weight and propellant composition of the shell to maximize its range within the limitations of traditional artillery guns. This new 100 km range ammunition will be a significant advancement for Indian military capabilities, as the adversaries have access to shells with only 70 km range. Today's Top 3 Comments